This video is only part of an unpaid, unbiased, in-depth review from an average rider's perspective, so check out the rest in the link below at thegoodride.com. If you want real advice, fill out the Me Harmony profile in the link below so I can help you properly. And if this video helps, please consider donating or buying through our links. Thanks for watching. Welcome to The Good Ride, where it's not about our pride, it's just about how it rides. And this is the Nidecker Supermatic. I'm James Beastie, and I rode these with a wide variety of boards, and primarily with my Burton Kendos. But I compared these in same-day samplers, for example, on the Nidecker Mellow, a board we loved this year, and other boards, and I compared these against the Clue Quick Release, the Burton Step-Ons, the regular and the newer Genesis, the Flow NX2 TM and TM Carbon. And I compared these against a lot of other bindings like the Nidecker K-On X and K-On Plus. I also compared these, of course, against my Union Atlas to get a baseliner before starting out. And to give you a short summary, the Nidecker Supermatic takes what Flo did here and kind of evolves it so you don't have this strap that you have to flip forward anymore. Instead, you just step right in and it clicks down. It is incredibly easy. And while you do have minimized shock absorption and minimized board feel underfoot because you have a big old school, mostly plastic base plate with only a little bit milled out here and there, you still have a very responsive ride. And I think for their first time out, I think they're doing some pretty cool stuff. And if you like flow, but you want something faster that's more in line with Clue or Burton Step On, I think this might work for you, especially if you don't want to go with Burton Boots or the companies that make Burton Step-On compatible boots, this or the Clue could work really well. And I think this would work better for you if you want a little bit of shock absorption. The only other thing is the weight, they're pretty heavy. Speaking of weight, these are 2.8 pounds with the discs and screws in. You compare that to the Clue at 2.4, that's heavy but not terrible. Or the Step-Ons at 1.8 pounds, super light that's on the much lighter end of the spectrum or the flow nx2 tm at 2.2 pounds i think that's a reasonable weight that's the same weight as my union atlas and i don't really notice or care about that even the clues are okay with that but you really do notice a difference between the step-ons and these and especially so these so when it comes to in and out and just overall ease of use. I really like this system. I like it much better than Flow and about the same as Clue. It is a little different to step in this way and I like that this is easier than Flow and when I'm in I feel like it locks better around me so I'm ready to go. But with Clue, let me see if I can do this with my hands, you just kind of step in, well, let me put this down. You just step in like that, and it's quite similar to the Burton Step-Ons, although I don't like this back release as much as I love the levers in Step-On and with Nidecker. And Flow, I thought, was the least easy to get in and out, and I don't like this lever on the back here to pull up and to reach around the back. That was the most awkward. And another thing I like is they do have this hybrid strap system. So if you're on a steep hill, you can just get in like normal bindings where the step-ons are a little more difficult to do that. So are the clues. But in steep terrain, all of these are difficult. What you have to do is then just put them on like a normal snowboard binding. You have to chop into the side of the hill if you stand up and put them in that way. But most of the time when you're getting off the chair, you have a nice, easy place to do it. It just sucks if you decide to unstrap halfway down, 
then you have to find an easy place to step back in. So when it comes to high back flex, I love this nice easy twist and good give on the top here. I can really bend it back. I loved how this integrated with my even featured calves. And if you can't rotate a high back like you can't with this or the clue bindings and barely with the Burton step-ons and kind of the same with the flow, it's good to have some give. And in comparison to flow, I just feel like this lever here that works for the quick release, it just seems to always stiffen up the high back a little bit more than I'd like it to be, even though it doesn't bite and it has a little twist on the side, not much, but a little. This is just better overall. I even liked it better than the Clue and the Burton ones because Burton, you're connected down at the base, so you don't really feel the high back as much. But I will say this Genesis, this little hammock here, did mellow it out a little bit and I like that. Now, when it comes to flex underfoot, there is some milling going on right here and that's nice to see. And you can see they kind of have like an X going on here, but there is a lot of contact with the board. This heel cup is in contact a little bit and in comparison to Clue, it's much better. But in comparison to Flow's bindings with just a, basically a rubber bottom here, separating this hard metal, reducing the wear and tear on the top sheet of your board is much better. And then on top of that, you have a nice bit of EVA foam here on both sides to absorb shock. And then you've got that rubber to dampen it on the bottom. If you want the best of both worlds, you want dampening and you want slow speed shock absorption, flat landing shock absorption, because let's face it, we all land flat. We all like to pretend we don't, but we do. I would say flow is the best with Burton second. Burton doesn't have that dampening that flow does here, but it has excellent shock absorption. And that's nice to see in a quick release binding. I'd say Flow is getting closer to maybe the Pinnacle, Jones, and Now, who have that rubber dampening along with that soft EVA foam. They're probably the best. This is getting pretty close. So Nidecker does have some shock absorption in the heel, a little foam pad here, and just a little bit of EVA foam throughout, and I like that. And it's definitely better than the Clue that really has no padding on the base plate, and it's a little hard on your top sheet, and no padding in the heel cup. There is some rubber here, but that's for traction when you step out with the high back portion on. And then you only have a little padding here. So if you're considering this or Clue, the, like the true step in, it's probably the Supermatic over the Clue here, especially if you don't wanna do the Get Burton step-in compatible boots. Now, when it comes to response, I liked the response of these. They're kind of medium to medium fast. They make the board feel more stiff underfoot, but they don't affect the response. And the Clues, I thought were very close in terms of response. I, I, I might go to the Supermatic a little bit more, but it's very similar. If you really want lots of response, in my opinion, almost too much, then it's all about the step-ons. They're more responsive than almost any other binding I've ever tried. It's like that step before hard booting. That's just my two cents, but some people just can't get enough response. For those people, it's step on for sure. But what I liked about the Supermatic versus the flows that I've tried, especially the NX2 TM and the NX2 TM Carbon, is these with this type of ankle strap, I think the hybrid ankle strap just seems to sit a little higher up on the ankle and gives you a little more symmetrical response. So this comparison is mainly about their more traditional ankle straps, toe strap hybrid system here versus what they call hybrid is 
that it mimics more of a traditional ankle strap system. I just like this better. So I wish I could have done a more apples to apples comparison of the Flow NX2 TM with the hybrid straps versus the Supermatic with their hybrid straps. That would have been much better because you can see if you turn them sideways, you can see that this ankle strap sits higher on your boot. And I really like that. Some people like it sitting lower and they like that feel. But for me, it doesn't feel as symmetrical. If you want to talk symmetry, Burton's, step-ons, they're the first bindings where I felt like they're truly symmetrical. But like, for example, my Union Atlas feel really symmetrical too. But in comparison to, let's say, something like the Genesis, which is a binding I love, but even when I'm perfectly over the gas pedal, I use the size nine indicator and set it up that way. I'm just not getting the symmetry I did, especially in same day comparisons with all of these except for flow. The flow feels just a little slower on the toe side. But overall, I like the response, I like the turn initiation, and I, I didn't have issues with the feel of these bindings. Now, when it comes to support, I like these ankle straps. I, I, I didn't think I would, and it's just, it's a weird setup. You have to keep this part a little high, these a little snug, and at first, you know, one of the problems I have with these kind of step-in systems, not like the step-on, is the ankle support. With flow, I always feel like I have to dial it back just a little bit to get my boot in so it doesn't feel as snug as I'd like it to. And I don't like to crank down my ankle strap. I just like to go one or two, maybe three clicks past initial contact so I'm not putting any pressure points on the top of my foot. I often like to crank down my toe strap because there are zero pressure points there if it's an over the toe kind of toe strap, which most people do. But when I get in with this, I always feel like I'm leaving a little space and afterwards I have to give it maybe one or two more cranks just for it to feel snug. But with the Supermatic, and let me do this here, it worked really well. One, I think because this really like opens up in comparison. So I just felt like I had an easier entry point with this. And then when I stepped in, I love how it has a couple different ladder points, just like the clues. So if there's a little snow in there, it's still gonna step down. And I loved how it felt supportive. And once I got it dialed out to my boot and locked these in, I didn't feel like I needed to add one or two extra on these like I did with the flows. And maybe that's just because the ankle strap sits a little higher on this than it does with this type of system. And maybe that would be better if I had the flow with the hybrid strap system. But overall, that's fine. But in comparison to Clue, I just felt like I had a normal snowboard binding on. The toe support wasn't as great. I didn't, I wasn't able to crank it down as much, but I got it snug. So when I stepped in, it all worked. With Burton, I kind of like getting boots from Burton, like the Ion or the Photon that have this ankle strap. It just feels better. I really didn't like the feel of the Burton ruler. When I was in those, it just felt like my ankle was a little more exposed. And when I had the right size boot, I felt like a little too much fold there and I didn't like it, but it's not terrible in terms of support. So when it comes to adjustability, you have an adjustable gas pedal. So you can dial that out and get that right on your boot. So you have proper toe side response. Then basically, that's about it. If you don't fit right in the middle of the spectrum, like I generally do with medium bindings, you might have to turn this disc the other way. See how I have it tip to tail. You might have to turn it heel to toe to get this binding centered on board. 
And overall, I think the Supermatic took a lot of great things from Flow and tweaked them and altered them and made it into something that's much faster than the old Flow. I always felt with Flow, flipping that high back up, it's just not step and go like this is. This is so much easier to get off the chair. And if you have this down, you can just step in and go. It's so fast. It's as fast as Clue and the Burton step on. And I think if they can figure out ways to reduce the weight, add a little more shock absorption, a little more dampness, a little more of a modern binding feel underfoot, these will be great.